Bendy and the Ink Machine is not an SCP. But if it were, how would the SCP Foundation contain it? Hello, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in this series we construct hypothetical containment procedures for non-SCP popular culture entities and objects. Let's begin. In order to go through with this hypothetical, we need to assume that the story of Bendy and the Ink Machine actually happened. No dream sequences, and no, we're actually in purgatory or hell here. The defunct Joey Drew Studios office would be purchased by the Foundation. As we can't up and move an entire building, a containment site would be set up with a cover story of condemning the building. Gawking civilians and adventurous youths alike would be turned away by on-site security and or amnesticized as needed. Within the opening rooms of the building, a foothold would be set up by researchers and security forces. Security teams would room by room explore the facility and mop up the ink creatures. Likely a thrilling scene for a mobile task force themed short film, don't you think? Wink at the camera. Our biggest goal would be the ink machine itself. I can tell you from personal experience that Foundation researchers would be chomping at the bit to analyze anomalous tech like that. Finding a way to power off and piece by piece remove the machine from the office and bring it to our labs would be our number one research priority. And in the worst case scenario, the ink creatures, even the ridiculously powerful Bendy itself, never seem to attempt to leave the studio. So even if we can't procure the equipment for research, it's still a successful containment if we can lock down the office and keep the ink creatures from escaping. Make sure to like and share this video, comment any creatures you would like to see containment procedures implemented for, and if you want to help us make bigger and better SCP projects, become a patron at the link in the description. Secure. Contain. Protect.